Good evening. Good evening, everyone. How are you? You all look lovely. It's a beautiful, sunny North Carolina day. It's hot. Moving up from Florida, I was under some deception. It's a little cooler here, but not, not too much. Well, we want to welcome uh, you here tonight. We want to welcome our online audience uh, one last time. Just wanted to give a shout out to Asher in the back in the beautiful pink shirt. He's our executive administrator. And as Dr. Brown has been encouraging people to get the notes, they have definitely wanted the notes. And so Asher has been helping out, getting everybody registered and sending notes. Uh, we've got Chris Lindsay in the back uh, who works for our IT, uh, just media, incredible guy, just helping uh, with the live stream and reaching people. Chris, I want to thank you for your time uh, just over the last six Tuesdays. And again, thank you all for taking uh, time out of your schedule. I hope that you are uh, learning, growing. Um, how many of this, how many of you have learned something over the last five Tuesdays? All right, perfect. That's a good thing. Um, I wanted to mention a couple of things. I was telling my daughter as I was praying about tonight, you know, I think that we can talk about a pool and then we can jump in a pool. And so for our last time tonight, I'd actually would really just like to minister to you all prophetically. How many of you think that's okay? Okay, so people are like, where's the notes? I'm like, I don't know. You might need a tape recorder more than a notes, but I've just been praying, just asking the Lord to fill me up with his heart for you all. And so uh, we're just going to take some time and uh, just have a time of ministry. And I, again, I love teaching, uh, but I love demonstration as well. And I want to make sure that all of you who have come to the intensive have not only received uh, teaching, but you've also received personal ministry as well. How's that sound? And uh, if you're watching on live stream, it's too bad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but for real, we bless you. Um, we want to just pray for you as well. Before we jump into the ministry time, kind of my vision for it is obviously, um, you know, I'll call some of you up. I'll put a microphone down and, and just share with you what the Lord is saying. And, you know, after we're done, you're, you're free to go. Uh, kind of will be an open-ended uh, kind of thing. You don't have to stay for a victory huddle or fire tunnel at the end or whatever. Uh, you know, as we get to you, uh, we'd love to minister to you. And then after that, you can, uh, you can go. Um, before we do that, I wanted to mention just a couple of things. Um, some of you might know, I wanted to kind of, some of you have had questions about um, what happens from here. Uh, I don't want to assume that any of you are overly familiar with the Ultra Global here. And so I just wanted to let you know about a couple of things. Um, number one, uh, we host uh, monthly altar gatherings the last Friday of every month. So if you didn't know that, uh, I'll be preaching at Refuge Church this coming Friday night, the last Friday of July. Uh, we have our altar worship team that leads worship. I bring forth a message uh, really centered in the bride and the bridegroom, the preparation of the bride has a certain flavor. Uh, we have multiple churches, pastors uh, that come, um, getting uh, more acquainted uh, with many of the leaders in the city here of Charlotte. So if you ever want to join us for one of those monthly, uh, the Lord did move us up from Florida, specifically to the Charlotte area. And so we want to be faithful uh, to dig into um, what he wants to do. So uh, we'd love to see you at one of our monthly events. We also host national conferences every four months. Our next conference is in September at Christ Fellowship Church. There's a um, kind of a display in the back. That one's called Friends of the Bridegroom. Uh, it's going to be hosted by something called the North Georgia Revival. Uh, they have now baptized over 20,000. They've seen 5,000 confirmed miracles 
Um, I have preached there. I've seen the miracles myself. I can honestly tell you there is no other place in America like it. And I'm not trying to hype it up. I would genuinely encourage you to go to the conference and make sure you get in the water. Uh, when I was there last month, you know, there, there's a certain uh, sense of desperation there that is not really um, in a lot of churches. Uh, there was a group that came, uh, their daughter, they, they had, had a wealthy family, but they had literally spent um, as much money as you could spend in the medical field, and she had one week to live, and it's literally pray for her or she'll die. Um, those kinds of um, miracles happen, that kind of desperation. So we'd love for you to join us. We do pick strategic locations, partnerships. I know that it's filling up quickly. We've got an incredible group that's coming, uh, really excited. So I want to let you know about that. <clears throat> Again, you know, that is a, a registration. Um, so you can talk with Asher in the back if you want to get signed up for that. Uh, and then again, in 2022, every four months, January, June, and September, we will have a national conference as well as the monthly ones. Um, two more things, you guys good? Am I wearing you out? Don't worry, I'm going to butter you up with the word of the Lord. Um, just two things. Um, our school of ministry starts August 31st. Um, kind of what we feel like the wineskin the Lord has given us is that every summer we'll have some intensives like this. We honestly have been debating about whether to kind of do it like, you know, six Tuesdays in a row or next summer. We're probably looking at more like weekends, like maybe a Friday and all day Saturday. Just obviously, as you can see, it's super hard for people to just take six Tuesdays in a row with their schedule. So we'll be doing uh, some of the um, just different intensives, different subjects. But from August to May, our Altar School of Ministry uh, is going to be functioning. And so it's a year long. Um, there are 14 weeks in each semester. The school runs on Tuesday, Thursday nights from 630 to 9. It is a one-year program. I will be teaching 50% of the school, so each semester I will be teaching on Tuesday nights. Um, and then we have uh, staff member Sarah Coker uh, will be teaching uh, on the Thursday night in the first semester. And then Skylar Farley will be teaching on Thursday night uh, in the, the second semester. But the theme of the school uh, is the raising up of end time messengers into every sphere of society. And so we're really going to get into the end times. We're going to get into the call, the preparation of messengers. We're going to hit on Israel, the Middle East, the eternal storyline. We're going to dive into the book of Revelation. It's a very specific, specialized school. And honestly, we're really going after marketplace individuals. Uh, we believe that the Lord calls out some that have a call to full-time paid ministry, if you will, from a church or an organization, but the vast majority uh, of Americans are obviously working nine to fives or in some kind of entrepreneurial um, venture, and we want to equip them uh, with the end time reality where they're at. So it's less of calling you out of working your job and your family and more of meeting you where you're at. And so we're really excited about the school. Um, there's people that are actively moving here to attend the school and it's also available online and so we have an online group that's gathering we have an in-person group that's gathering and that will start at the end of next month August 31st we also have guest instructors that will come in uh, throughout the school uh, many of the names that you see, Brian Guerin, Billy Humphrey, uh, Dr. Brown will be back. A lot of different uh, names and, and folks that will come and pour out into the students. And again, it's not open to the public. It's just primarily for the school. So if you're interested in being a part of something like that, again, from that August to May, we'd love to have you. We'd love to talk to you about it more. Um, but if that's not something the Lord is calling you to, we will have opportunities like this next summer and hope that you'll join us. 
Finally, partnership. Uh, for those of you who know a little bit more about us, we are 100% funded uh, by the generosity of the body of Christ. We're not a church. We don't have ties, uh, if you will. Uh, we're just funded by partnerships, by donations, people that have caught the vision of what we're trying to do in this generation. Uh, a lot of times people partner with us because they believe in what we're doing. They see the fruit. But you also have perks, if you will. And so part of being a partner, you get 15% off anything that we do. So you get 15% off the school, off of any books or resources, off of any conferences that we do. And then I send out a once a month video update that we film here to all of our partners. So if there's any, uh, any, of, the, any of those things that you want more information about, um, feel free to see Asher in the back if you're watching online. Um, all of that stuff will be flashing on the screen. I wanted to say it one more time. I said this last week. Um, if you've been here in person, you've been here online, and you want to sow an offering into the intensive, uh, some of you might have so seen Dr. Brown posted an announcement on his social media as well asking for help. A lot of ministries, a lot of churches, they just struggle over the summer. As a former pastor, it's just usually part of it. And so if the Lord lays on your heart, you've been receiving the last Tuesdays, and you want to give above and beyond your registration, uh, you can do that. And there's an envelope on the back table. You can scan your phone and give right on the website, or you can write a check or cash. And again, those of you online, I know that many of you have been tracking with us on Tuesdays. If you want to give and sow into the intensive, uh, we want to give you an opportunity for that. No pressure, no manipulation, no craziness. Just want to make it available. How'd I do? Usually my team does all that, but hallelujah. All right. So online stream, uh, feel free to go ahead and do that. Follow the prompts. Uh, I'm going to move into a time of ministry. We want to thank you for joining us the last five Tuesdays. Uh, if you're missing out, you want to be here. Again, some of the things that I mentioned, we've got a lot of uh, opportunities uh, that are available every week and every month. All right. Can everybody stand? Let's just stretch out our hands to the Lord, if, if you will. Father, thank you for... Thank you.